What's going on, your boys? I'm here back with another video. Today, we're talking about the new features to Madden 22, okay? Madden 22 franchise in particular, but it's crazy. EA Sports is adding stuff to the game, and I'm super pumped up about it. I am really pumped. I think the new features are going to be great, and I think it's going to be a new layer of content that I'm going to enjoy, and I think all of you guys will enjoy. But before we get into that, I have to talk about one thing. 99% of you guys aren't subscribed, okay? Like, I'm not going to sit here and beg for subscribers, but I have a goal of 100 subscribers by uh, August, and I really want to hit that, and I really appreciate you guys stop the video and drop the sub really quick. Mean a lot to me. Comment if you did it. Okay, I'm not going to take any more of your time, though. Let's get straight into it, okay? We are starting off with the home field advantage feature, okay? So pretty much this means, okay, let's say I'm the Patriots. I don't know what the Patriots have, and I'm the Dolphins, right? So on third down, I try to hot route Devontae Parker. It wouldn't let me because the Patriots have the ability where I can't hot round a third or fourth down. There's actually ability. I saw ability like that. That's what the home field advantage does in Madden 22. It actually makes you want to play at home so you have that ability. Okay, moving on to the next one. My favorite one is the offensive and defensive coordinators and all the new position coaches you can have. All right, you can actually have coaches now besides the head coach and the scout. It's good. It's good. They all have different traits. They all have different skill trees they also have skill trees which i'm gonna talk about in a second but they all have their pros and cons and i think it's amazing that ea actually listened decided to add something to the game it is a great great ad like i'm serious great we've been asking for it and they finally delivered i think they actually put more work in the franchise than they did the ultimate team that's saying something they also okay moving on to the skill tree okay so the skill tree as you see up there it's like if any of you guys ever played NHL, that it reminds you of NHL. It's really like the NHL system, how they did it, how you upgrade one at a time the points you get. It's really how the NHL does it for my career. And you can give each coach game day goals, which I'm pretty sure it's like certain things like pass for 300 yards. Yeah, it is. You can see it up there. I know this feature isn't going to be in the game day one, but in September – they will be coming out with probably the best update for the live. You know how they do live updates? They're adding scouting. Like real scouting. Like the good scouting. Because scouting in Madden is absolute trash. Like it is terrible. You click a button three times, you find the uh, three best attributes. It's not very good, okay? It is overrated. It's not even overrated. Everyone hates it. But it's pretty underdone, and I think EA was very lazy, and I'm happy that they actually agreed to fix it. They even said it when they came out of it. They said they'd be doing their most popular request, the scouting update, okay? Happy EA listened to people, and I'm happy that they're finally starting to understand we're not going to buy the game anymore if it's just going to keep being the same shit. Like, I'm really happy about that. But moving on, so, I mean, it, it's cool. They're fixing the Super Bowl animation, okay? You know how it's the same animation every year the dog pile then it'll show the losing team and then it'll show like the Super Bowl MVP yeah they're actually gonna fix that and I'm somewhat happy because I like presentation in the game it makes it feel better and I think it's good personally I mean that's just me I think it matters a little I mean I a lot of you guys probably don't care but that's just me Another feature I'm happy they're adding is halftime adjustments, okay? As you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's the middle left. They have halftime adjustments for offense and defense. So pretty much mid-game, let's say it's going to give you a prompt and you can fix all stuff. It's probably going to have different scenarios, you know, Madden's scenarios. And I'm really pumped for it because it's cool, man. Like, I really think it's cool because in the NFL, that happens. Halftime adjustments happen. It's part of the game, and I think if they want to be a realistic game, they're going to have to add halftime adjustments, and I'm happy for it. Okay, moving on to the next feature, adding fatigue. And the practicing actually matters now, okay? So let's say you go a full pads practice, your player stand was going to be lower. So now for certain practices, you're going to have to have lighter practices, heavier practices. It makes the game feel more realistic in the sense of that, and I like it because, I mean, I play football, and I'm going to be honest, we don't practice full pads every practice. It's too tiring. It's too physical. You can't do it. So that's what they're doing. And I think EA made a really good jump of this, way better than what they've been doing in the last couple updates in the last couple of years. 
And I think they're doing good, but there's one more thing we need to talk about before I can wrap up this video, guys. They're at press conferences. I, I know you guys don't care, but it's cool. I mean, they're taking a page out of the FIFA, because FIFA has it where you can answer questions, and then your player's morale or your team's morale will be boosted. And I think it's interesting. I mean, it always adds, you know, a little spice to the game. It makes the game, you know, less vanilla and boring. It makes it more fun. I mean... It's just more features. I mean, I like it. But overall, that's all I see from the T's franchise screen. I don't have access to beta, so I can't tell you. But I'm going to be honest here. This is going to wrap up the video, guys. I appreciate every single one of you guys who even clicked on this video, dropped a follow, dropped a sub. Same thing. Dropped a like or even comment. I appreciate all you guys, okay? Follow the IG, Chase Shot Stockman. Subscribe, please. And it's your boy Salman here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good morning, wherever you are. See you guys in the next one.